Valley of the Dolls is a novel written by Jacqueline Suzanne and published in 1966. It follows the lives of three women, Ann Wells, Neely O'Hara, and Jennifer North, as they navigate the entertainment industry in New York City during the 1940s, 1950s, and 1960s. The novel explores themes of fame, fortune, addiction, and the price of success. Suzanne's novel can be seen as a critique of the entertainment industry and the ways in which it exploits and corrupts individuals. The characters in the novel are all victims of this system, and their lives are ruined by their pursuit of fame and fortune. Anne, Neely, and Jennifer are all talented women who are taken advantage of by agents, producers, and other powerful men in the industry. They are told what to wear, how to act, and who to be seen with, all in the name of success. The pressure to conform to society's standards of beauty and success is overwhelming, and the characters resort to drugs and alcohol to cope. The novel's title, Valley of the Dolls, refers to the dolls, or pills, that the characters take to cope with the stresses of their lives. The dolls represent both escape and addiction. They allow the characters to escape their problems, but they also lead to their downfall. The dolls are a symbol of the false promises of the entertainment industry and the character's addiction to them reflects their addiction to fame and success. The three main characters in the novel represent different aspects of the entertainment industry. And is the intellectual who is drawn into the world of show business by her beauty and talent. She is an aspiring actress who becomes a successful model and then a talent agent. However, her success comes at a great cost, and she becomes disillusioned with the industry. Anne's story is one of the search for identity and meaning in a world that values appearance over substance. Neely, on the other hand, represents the dark side of show business. She is a talented singer who rises to fame quickly, but her success is short-lived. Neely becomes addicted to drugs and alcohol, and her career and personal life suffer as a result. Neely's story is one of the dangers of fame and the pressure to maintain success. Jennifer is the tragic figure in the novel. She is a beautiful actress who becomes a successful movie star, but her beauty masks a terrible illness. Jennifer has breast cancer and undergoes a mastectomy, but the surgery leaves her scarred and unable to work. Jennifer's story is one of the price of beauty and the sacrifice that women are expected to make in order to be successful. In conclusion, Valley of the Dolls is a powerful critique of the entertainment industry and the ways in which it exploits and corrupts individuals. The novel explores themes of fame, fortune, addiction, and the price of success. The characters in the novel are all victims of the system, and their lives are ruined by their pursuit of fame and fortune. Suzanne's novel remains relevant today, as society continues to place a premium on appearance and success at any cost. The novel serves as a warning of the dangers of the entertainment industry and the price that individuals pay for fame and fortune.